What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and we are going to jump into how often you need to be seeing your man when you guys are dating. What's a good pace? Why? So on and so forth. This is the only video you're going to need on it, okay? So jumping in, the first thing I want to talk about is the importance of momentum. I always say, if you have followed me long enough, I always say attraction is very momentum based. You really feel it when it loses momentum. You really feel it when it gets stagnant. You really feel it when something hits a wall, okay? When, when, when everything's going well, then just smack, you know, just, oh, okay, shit. So, something goes on, okay? Like, it's not pretty. Um, I, I, I know you all know that because you, you come to me about it. So, it's very obvious. It's also very effortless when you get the ball rolling and everything just starts happening naturally. My dad always used to say, if you dig holes, things fall in place, right? So it's very important. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because the next thing is, before we get into how often you guys see him and stuff, uh, the next thing is sustainability. I always tell women, when you're talking to a dude and he's blowing up your phone and he's giving you these good morning texts all the time and he's telling you how amazing you are, you might be amazing, but that shit's going to stop after so long. Like, that's not sustainable. It's not sustainable, okay? You want something that is consistent. And when I say consistent, I mean you have the same dude showing up every single time you see him, every single time he communicates. Not some guy who's like, Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he might be texting you, but he's short with his answers or he's not responding as fast. Like, no, 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 but I need you to bring that same energy all the time. Um, you know, so it's always going to, I guess the first thing I'm going to tell you is it always starts off like this, which is fine, which is fine. It always starts off like this going up. And this is because the guy's doing the stuff I'm saying. It's not always a bad thing. It depends on how intense it is. But a guy's going to court you more often in the beginning. So a good example of this would be like the first or second date is probably going to be better than like the third or fourth date. Um, just uh, normally, this is how it is. And then once it goes like this, you don't want it to go like that. You want it to go like this and then kind of mellow out like this somewhere down over here. Okay? Now that's a healthy pace. How do we get that? What does that look like? In my opinion, at least, you need to see a dude at least once a week, okay? If you're going two weeks without talking to a dude or without seeing a dude, that's a problem. That is a big problem, okay? Uh, but to give you a little more detail, I would say the first date the se or the first week, one time. Second week, one, see him one time. The third week, two times the fourth week one or two okay and then whatever you do from week five to eight uh and i always say five to eight because at the eight you're you're having the talk like you you know nah, like this this netflix rental subscription ain't like it, it, it don't last forever man like you need a like the free rental sorry this free uh this free subscription like no nah, you got you got to pay or you got to leave you ain't getting the, you ain't getting these videos um so a guy, a guy needs to know that he's not he's not good this isn't going to go on forever um so you have to have the talk uh but whatever you do from five to eight is up to you guys i just kind of want it to flip meaning don't go like two three 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 like no nah, that's too much man go like two one maybe two or three one you know whatever um and something like that. Now, when it comes to texting, in my opinion, I think texting needs to be based on how often you guys see each other. If you're texting a lot and you're seeing each other a lot, that could be intense. That 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 might be too much, you know. And the, and the busy excuse will start coming around now. Like, oh, oh I can't, I'm, I'm I just been busy lately. Sorry. It's like, uh huh. You, you know, or whatever. I'm your boss. I don't know if this is a good idea. Well, we shouldn't have been doing that anyway then, homie. I was your, you were my boss four weeks ago. What's up? You know, like that kind of bullshit. So you're going to start getting excuses if it's, if it's just intense for a long time. Um, but the more you see each other, the less texting. Now, when I say less, I don't think you should go a day or whatever without texting someone. I just mean the intensity, like all day, every day. You should be texting every day for the most part. You should be texting at least six or seven days, okay? But I hate saying that because then 
when you get that one day where people don't talk to each other, you, everyone gets in their head. So there's nothing wrong with texting every day. You, you should always at least get three texts. One when you wake up, one when you're sitting on, when he's sitting on the toilet, and one at, at night when he's chilling, whether he's popping open a beer and watching a game of throw, whatever the hell it is, man. Or a guy can easily send three texts. Lunch break, anything. He can easily send. If he's not sending them, he's sending them to someone else. As simple as that. But in a nutshell, ladies, it all comes down to um, it's, it's all subjective. It depends on the people. Uh, however, I do think it has to be something that is sustainable over time that benefits both of you, right? So I have a lot of clients who come to me who are like, I want him to do phone calls. It's like, not everyone wants to do phone calls, number one. Number two, not everyone has the time to do, or the energy to do phone calls. I remember I dated this girl back in the day, um, and I really liked her too. She was fine as hell, and she was cool as hell. Um, great communicator. She was a psychologist, or therapist, or whatever. She went to school for it. And... You know, so our communication was great, but I was just not a caller. When you talk to the phone, if, you, if, if I got on the phone with her, it's a two hour, it's an hour, two hour talk. And guess what? Guess how long my sessions are? One, one hour. And I got a bunch of them every day. So I'm not trying to be on the phone in my free time. You know, we'll text and we'll talk here and there, but, but we'll, 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 we'll get to know each other more when I see you. Uh, so it just depends on the person. It has to be something that is beneficial to both. But ladies, if it is... If it is, uh, if he's consistent, A plus. If he's, if it's sustainable, A plus. If it has momentum, A plus. Okay, you're doing good. With that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.